see here that left turn amazing right that was so smooth beautifully executed coming out really assertive look at that oh that was so well done there was a car on the right side they were turning at the same time i was that was so awesome i love that wow it, it, it was just perfect that was absolutely perfect i couldn't have done that better myself there it waited for that car well it didn't wait for them it, it saw them there that car there on the right was blue and it went straight forward no care in the world that's exactly how i would have driven run coming forward here wait for it hey guys how's it going happy new year i have got all the cameras rolling here today i'm testing the latest version of full self-driving beta i realized i haven't published a video on this latest version i have 2023.44.30.5.1 several people have later versions than this and then others are kind of locked into this version okay, i'm going to take it over to do a very difficult unprotected left and then uh, through some neighborhood areas these are kind of like typical drive things i'm testing out a new camera setup i've got a second gopro camera yay i've got one in my car here so i can kind of go in in the vehicle and then outside the vehicle uh, it took me a, quite a bit of time to set everything up but let's go ahead and get started I'm going to, um, you know, we're, we're all dialed in. I have to get out of my uh, driveway here to get started. So you'll wait, see, I'm starting to drive forward here. You're gonna see here a wheel icon in the upper left is going to show up here any second. Once it registers that we can turn it on, right, th right now it looks like we can turn it on, the car can start going. Now there's a couple cars coming on my left, so I'm just gonna wait until they pass. Now I could turn it on right now and it would kind of Herky jerky trying to try to get out of my driveway. I prefer to kind of do this manually. I like to go nice and slow. I've had some problems with the upper control arms. Uh, I've had them fail twice in 77,000 miles. And I've got a video coming up on how I tried to address that and what the exact issue was for the second time. And then also I've got a video coming up on the unboxing of the cyber quad you definitely want to check that out and make sure you subscribe because i will be doing a five-year review of using my model 3 i've had several different repairs but a lot of them were covered under warranty anyway In today's video feet, ooh, i've got the audio on forward. here for the nav let me turn that off today's video is all about full self-driving and how it can operate in kind of a day-to-day -day situation this is something that i would do you know if i was running an errand or something it's really pra a practical use case of full self-driving so first of all let me um, turn off now the turn left on audio for through. the nav i'm going to go into settings here and mute that all right that won't get in the way so i'm going to turn it on now here we go all right accelerating forward it immediately turned yellow there coming out real nice there Hey, I'm just uh, going through my mind mentally, making sure I screwed down the camera up above on my car. Really nice. It's so cold outside that my fingers were starting to freeze, and it was really challenging trying to get trying to get it up there effectively. Uh, I can hear there's a lot, quite a bit of wind resistance with that camera up there. <laughs> uh, I went on a trip here to Michigan, and they salted the roads like crazy, so I had to wash my car before. I started this journey here. My daughter's turned on the always rainbow road, which is kind of annoying. I I don't usually do that myself. So to do that, you go into the toy box here and there's a rainbow road at the end here. You can turn off always rainbows. We don't need that on. Uh, you know, I had a lot of fun over the holidays with Santa mode and with rainbow road mode. Those things are always fun. Uh, with the family when you're going on road trips and whatnot. We did, since it's lower temperatures, we did have to stop to charge a couple times at the superchargers. I didn't get a chance to film, do much filming. I was waiting for an SD card for the second GoPro camera that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Really excited for it because now, like I said, I can do kind of these zoom in and zoom out uh, effects. I know the only other person that I've seen that has done that is AI Driver, and he does a fantastic job. I love the way he edits his videos. I'm not trying to mimic or copy him. I just, I'm obsessed with high quality video effects as well. It takes a lot more time to edit them. See here that left turn? amazing right that was so smooth beautifully executed 
Really nicely done. No issues there. That's exactly how I would have done it if I was driving manually. Most people that hop in my car that are you know, going for a ride through Uber, which I do quite a bit of Uber drives, they have no idea that my car is driving itself unless I tell them. And I typically don't try to impose that on them. I don't want to say, by the way, my car is driving itself. You know, if someone notices or if they're curious, then I will definitely bring it up. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like tell them unless I, unless they're very conversational to begin with. You kind of have to read the room. You know, when someone gets in your car, there it waited for that car. Well, it didn't wait for them. It, it saw them there. That car there on the right was blue, and it went straight forward. No care in the world. That's exactly how I would have driven. Love that. Now it's slowing down for this car turning right there, changing lanes into a faster lane. See, sometimes it does things like that though. It's kind of weird because we are going to be turning right pretty soon. I definitely would have would would not have changed lanes at this point in time, and I, I certainly wouldn't have done it to go faster. So sometimes the messages are a little bit strange as well. See, there we go. Now we have to change right back to follow route. So little things like that are kind of quirky. Now, if you have a passenger in your car, it's highly unlikely they're really going to be paying attention to that. I think you as the driver, you see those little nuances with the messages on the screen. You're like, mm, you know, you become super judgmental. And a lot of how full self-driving behaves in 2024 is dependent on how you judge the, re the logic. So it, some people are okay with the car taking over and doing things differently than they would allow. And then other people are control freaks. They're like, oh, heck no, I'm, I need to go faster here. Or, or there's no way I'm going to let it hesitate this much or someone right behind me. And then, you know, other people are like, oh, whatever, you know, screw that person behind me. Or, you know, hey, I've got all the time in the world. I, I, I'm okay waiting for it to make up its mind. Little things like that. So it all depends on the person. I am disengaging it. We have arrived here at the Home Depot. Like I said, this is a very great example of a typical day-to-day -day drive. Now, I'm gonna force it from here. It's asking me, it says, autopilot disengaged, what happened? Well, I disengaged it because we're here and I don't, I don't need it to drive me to the front door. When you dial in a destination, it will try to go right to the front door. So if it's a grocery store or like a home, uh, a home center like this, then it will just go straight to the front door. From here, I'm going to dial in, uh, this is gonna be a short trip. I'm just gonna dial in my home. We're gonna end trip, navigate, own. All right, we're gonna wait for it to register. And this is the very difficult left turn. We're waiting for it. Okay, I think it is in there. Okay, perfect. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see how it does this. Single tap down. And the car starts moving. Let's see what happens here. As we're heading back to where we started, I am going to in input one additional waypoint just to add a little bit more variety. Now I've tested this multiple times. You'll see a link on the top. Here, see, it's going left, but it's in the right on the right side. So now this is where I really have to be careful. And it's it's indicating it's going to go right. And then at the last second, it said it's going to go left. Really strange. Coming out, really assertive. Look at that. Oh, that was so well done. There was a car on the right side. They were turning at the same time I was. That was so awesome. I love that. Wow. It, it, it was just perfect. That was absolutely perfect. I couldn't have done that better myself. Except... For the screen, it was saying it was going to go right, and then at the last second it turned left. The map data was saying it was going to go left. I don't know what that was all about, but it executed. Now, if someone was behind me, I would have been blocking them because it was taking up the right lane there. The exit from the parking lot there was not exactly ideal, but once it got out there and, and made that left turn, there was a lot of things going on at that moment and it made it very challenging. Okay, this is what we need to do. This is gonna be really interesting, guys. Let's see what happens. I better not go. Okay, good, it waited for this car. Very glad that it waited for that car. 
Okay, and then going for it. All right, and then coming through here. Yes, it needs to go left here. Good. All right. Let's see if it can do this, guys. This is going to be really hard. You can see what it needs to do here. It needs to turn left. Thankfully, there's not a ton of traffic. I think a lot of people are getting ready for the game. And I could be wrong. It's just it's New Year's Day. Most people aren't out right now. Okay, coming forward here. Wait for it. Don't don't go yet. Okay, now it's okay. If it goes, it's got to go quick. Come on, don't just stop right there. No. Okay, whoa, <laughs> it went for it. I had to nudge it forward a little bit. I did step on it a little bit. Now, I'm, I really put it to the test to get it all the way over, and I had to really speed up there to get it over. So that is a very, you know, it's kind of unfair to actually have it come all the way down here, because it's you have to bolt across like three, four lanes. There was a car coming up right behind me. I did have to cut him off, although I, I did it quickly enough, I would say, but to follow the route that I had planned, it was really kind of a unfair maneuver, but I didn't choose it. Well, I mean, I, it, it gave me the option to choose it and then I chose it, but th the fact is it actually gave me the option and it really shouldn't in that case. And I commented on that in the last video that I posted. So that remains kind of an issue for me personally that it actually allows you to select those routes. So from here, I'm just gonna close this out. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Stay tuned for version 12. We should be getting that here very soon. I will, as soon as I get it, I will be filming immediately. So I, I'm debating whether I do a live video, a live stream, I probably will. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Thanks again for watching and hope you guys have a great new year. See you.